Okay, so here's a suggested solution for the second exercise where we should uh, award uh, users with Drupal points if they create new tutorials or new topics. And as usual, well, as you might uh, expect, we want to use rules for doing this. So I'm going into configuration, workflow rules, opening this in a new tab. And as with the previous rule, we want to use a reaction rule because this should react on an event that occurs on the site, uh, namely that a new content is created. So let's let's add a new rule here. We'll actually need two different reaction rules here, but we'll get to that. And let's see here. Award Drupal points. Let's just say Drupal points for creating uh, topics. Now you should have um, um, they should have uh, 10 points for adding a new topic to the site. So let's here, see here. Uh, React on event and uh, list here somewhere we have this uh, node. Yes. Uh, after saving new content, when new content has been created, this is one, and the content has already been created, and that's kind of useful in some cases because then you have a node ID and things, but we're not going to work with that right just now. After saving new content, and now we want to add a condition here because we want to make sure that the content that is created is a, a topic and not a tutorial or something else on the site. So we're going to add a new condition. And as with actions, we have a pretty long list of conditions to choose from. And luckily, there is a, a pretty easy condition that we can use here that is called content is of type. Click. And uh, when using this one, you get a number of options and things uh, to send parameters to this condition so it can evaluate properly. And first it asks, what node object do you want to examine? Uh, and in this case, it already provides this node uh, that is the newly created content, but we could drill down into other data that rules has available and select something else uh, if we wanted to, but we don't. Okay. Second uh, part here, uh, what type should we check for? Well, it should be a topic. We can negate this uh, condition if we want to, but we don't want to do that. So it should be a topic. Save. Okay, after saving new content, if content is of type, the node is topic, then add an action. And now we want to again uh, set the value for the uh, and Drupal points of the user uh, but we have a few quirks here that I'm gonna show you and walk you through. Uh, we're gonna use this set a data value again just as before set a data value and then rules asks us what data do you want to change and want to change the uh, the uh, field on the acting users uh, uh, profile and we don't really have the acting user here now. In the previous exercise we had the newly created account available and we could here drill down into the node object we see here. We have the node object, the newly created content. And if I drill down in here you can see that somewhere down here I have the node author and I have in the node author, if I keep drilling down into this I get the field, use, uh, field user Drupal points here. Uh, but that's not the field I want to uh, change actually because it's not necessarily the case that the node author is the acting user. You might create a new topic and set someone else uh, uh, as author. Uh, but if you do that I want to uh, award the acting user with uh, 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 Drupal points, not the, the actual author. So I want to find the acting user and this one is found in the site uh, pseudo um, entity that contains some global information on, on the site. So site colon and I drill down here I have the current user, the logged in user. Drilling down into that one I can find the Drupal points field and continue. So here I select the acting user which is found in the global site object here uh, and then the field on uh, that user. Then I want to set this to a value. I want to increase the the data, all the, the Drupal points by 10. 
and that means I can't just uh, set a value here uh, because that means I'll just overwrite uh, the previous value. Instead I'm switching to what's called data selection which allows some pretty fancy things here. And I'm going to do this in two steps. Uh, bear with me. First of all I'm going to say say that I'm going to, well the, the secret to it all is this offset here. I'm going to start by saying I want to set the field to the value it just had. So I'm drilling down into site, current user, and the field user in Drupal points. But I want to add an offset of 10, which means I'll add 10 more to this, uh, uh, to this field. What it had already plus 10 and save. That's kind of useful. Uh, so after saving new content, if it is a topic, then uh, set the, um, the Drupal points of the acting user, not the node author, uh, to 10 more than it just was. And now we have this uh, rule for uh, adding points when someone creates a topic. So let's go ahead and do the same thing or a very, very similar thing for uh, tutorials. Tutorials should be awarded with 20 points apparently, so let's add a new rule for this. Uh, well, Drupal points for creating tu ah, tutorials. Sorry, tutorials. There. Drupal points. Here I, I accidentally hit enter, so I had to now uh, enter the machine name by hand. That was happened pretty quickly. Sorry about that. React on event, again I'm going to react on saving, uh, after saving new content, new content has been created, good, save, after saving new content, I'm going to start with the action now because that's going to be exactly the same as we had before but plus 20 instead of 10. So I'm drilling down, setting a data value, I want to change the site colon, uh, current user colon Drupal points. Continue. Set this to and then switching to data selection instead of entering a, uh, a value manually I'm uh, selecting uh, values from any of the available data for rules which includes this field that I'm working with currently so I'm taking the existing uh, value of this field and adding 20 to it using this offset thing here. Save. Now finally I want to uh, set a condition here, so this only happens when uh, I'm creating or someone has created a tutorial. So let's uh, try this out. Add condition and here instead of using the content is of type I'm going to show you the data comparison uh, condition which is really really useful. It's uh, very similar, well kind of similar to the set the data value property. Um, set the data value action, sorry. Uh, so it's, a, it's one of these really really useful conditions. So it says I want uh, you want to compare two different datas, uh, sure. What data do you want to compare? And now I'm gonna uh, drill down into the node object, the created content, node colon, drilling down into the, uh, the uh, data inside this node and I'm gonna look at the node colon type which is the, the content type. Continue and then uh, it asks what should it what should it be? Well it should be equal to uh, tutorial. And here I get a list of all the available uh, content types which is kind of handy in this case. And save. This is equivalent of doing the content is of type uh, condition but a more uh, ex more explicit way perhaps of doing it or a more elaborate way of doing it. It's really useful to know about this data comparison condition because it's so so useful to, to compare a lot of different things. Okay after saying new content if it is a tutorial award 20 points and uh, yeah that's it. Uh, I hope this was uh, kind of clear if you have problems uh, still uh, ask someone nearby and I hope it will turn out for the best. See you in the next exercise. Bye.